go down to Rome's. So edge rusher Diamond Dallas Turner and quarterback J.J. McCarthy were drafted this year uh, to be cornerstones of the Vikings uh, team going forward. McCarthy, obviously the future franchise quarterback, and it's a passer and get the passer league, and Dallas Turner can certainly get after the passer's ass, right? So uh, two big-time players uh, for a big-time future for the Vikings, and they, they look good. Are, are already looking good in purple and putting in that work in practice during rookie camp. OTA is a mandatory mini camp, but basically, yeah, hand, five days before rookies report to TCO, they're still unsigned. All right, so still not under contract. And a lot of Vikings fans and some random reports say that McCarthy, perhaps even Dallas Turner, uh, could potentially be holding out. Now, I don't buy that quite yet because it's a deadline-driven league and rookies don't have to report until Sunday. Could could you see something uh, get done before they're, they're, uh, they're supposed to take the field? Yes. I think that's certainly possible and plausible. Also, uh, so there's a total of seven draft picks who still haven't signed yet. Uh, five in the first round, uh, two at the top of the third round. Uh, Caleb Williams, Roma Dunze, J.J. McCarthy, Diamond Dallas Turner, and Amaris Mims. Uh, ta- ginormous tackle from Georgia uh, for the Cincinnati Bengals. Now, you, you'll notice that Williams and Adunze ha- still haven't signed yet either. Where's all the talk about, well, well, those two are going to hold out? Now, I haven't heard any of that. But, you know, McCarthy and Turner unsigned just, just sort of is what it is. Uh, and Ben Gessling uh, was on KFAN, and he talked about uh, the situation as well as potential holdup. Purple Suasion puts put this together. Quote, as from Gessling, there's different things about when you get your signing bonus. Uh, is it going to be paid in installments? Is it paid up front? My understanding is the Vikings have typically done more of the installment stuff with a lot of veteran players. That's been the case. And certain players have had uh, exceptions to that. Uh, I think Justin Jefferson's deal did. Uh, Kurt Cousins certainly had had exceptions uh, to that. And, and that's the rumored sticking point is the timing of the signing bonus because w- with the rookie wage scale, you can't negotiate for more money. So this is literally not, not about getting a dollar or a, a cent more, uh, but they can negotiate the uh, signing bonus timing. Is it all going to be upfront in a lump sum or is it going to be uh, distributed out throughout the first season generally? Uh, now, what's interesting is that uh, with Jefferson, uh, who had a massive signing bonus with his deal, uh, thir- thirty-six point uh, nine million. Wait, three six nine. Whatever. Whatever he did that on purpose because it's funny. Anyways, uh, but he got sixteen million of it up front, uh, and then twenty point nine three eight million of it is going to be prorated uh, with his base salary this season, uh, broken up o- over the eighteen weeks. So. Not even Justin Jefferson got his entire signing bonus up front. So, is that what they're fighting about? It really doesn't make sense because that's one of only two things they can really negotiate about. Uh, Sign to bonus timing as well as negotiating offset language. So basically, if the player is released during his rookie deal and first round picks, uh, their deals are fully guaranteed, uh, can they double dip? So if, say, a a player X gets uh, cut uh, with a year remaining on his contract, now that is fully guaranteed, uh, but does uh, when he gets cut and signed somewhere else does that offset what his previous team owed him or does he double dip you know that's the sticking uh thing there so uh, again it's really ridiculous uh, cuz i again i will believe it when i see it but we said this all off season it just doesn't strike me to be in Dallas Turner or JJ McCarthy's DNA it just re- really doesn't right and the Honestly, I wish you could ask McCarthy or Turner before the draft if they knew that signing bonuses were either up front or potentially prorated over the first year. I bet they didn't know. So this, if true, again, big if, if true, this all seems agent driven either. uh, No, they have two different agents, but. Is this something to potentially set a precedent with the team and trying to get the Vikings to get off that uh, uh, partial uh, lump sum up front and then proration and just get it all up front? Set, setting that precedent is important or for future clients in the draft. Don't know, man. But I honestly don't see McCarthy holding out of any second of practices because he can't be on the field. Now, you he can do that during... Uh, OTAs and mandatory minicamp and during the offseason because there is a 
a tacit agreement if a player gets injured in the facility during that time uh they they would essentially give whatever the uh whatever the rookie wage scale slot would have given them as contract now a training camp ain't the case they have to be under contract uh, for them to be in the building so i don't see mccarthy giving up a second like a singular singular millisecond of time in the building in the meeting rooms on the practice uh, on the practice field because he wants to get in competition with Sam Darnold, and I don't see that happening with Dallas Turner either because Turner, Turner's been working with the ones with AVG up on blocks, and AVG may even start uh, on the pup list, so he has a chance to be an impact player right away. I don't see him taking any reps off uh, because of, and again, this would be a very stupid hill to die on you know, uh, because, l- like we said, they can't negotiate any more money. They don't get a single dollar more, and – Basically, if it comes down to the sign bonus, I understand it's life-changing money, but what really is the difference in the grand scheme of things of getting it all up front or getting part of it up front and then the rest of it uh, over the next 18 weeks of the season? I just don't see that. So, like I said, I, I, I feel like this is all agent-driven. Uh, I feel like uh, the agent will blink uh, at the deadline because – at the end of the day, the, the agents work at the pleasure of the players, and I, I don't see McCarthy or Turner holding out any bit over this. It would be a very stupid hill to die on because there's a lot of other things going on uh, with the franchise right now, and this would just add to the team's problems. And also, fa- fans don't forget, man. So, I mean... McCarthy and Turner could come in and win multiple Super Bowls, but if they held out as rookies over something as trivial as signing bonus payout timing, they'll always be remembered. Oh, J.J. McCarthy, hey, the, the guy who won the Vikings four Super Bowls. Oh, you mean holding out? You, know, you mean J.J. Wilson Phillips McCarthy because he's holding out for one more day? Get the hell out of here. He's sitting like Pippen? Come on, man. So I, I, I just don't see it. But, again, I, I've been wrong before. <laughs> I've been wrong many, many times before, and I'll, I'll own it if I am, but we'll see. We'll, we'll see. Uh, anyways, your thoughts are thoughts. McCarthy and Diamond Dallas Turner still unsigned. Hold out? Hmm. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts. You guys know what to do. Skull production value.